Good morning everyone, welcome back to my little channel and welcome back to Railroader. So we are starting another day, I got my coffee, the trains are running and we are about to begin the last order of business for, for this morning before we can actually start the stream and that is and that is Stream Raiders. Wow, so many people this morning. Hello Zephyr, hello Rubix, and hello Atrimi. I'm not cute. I, I deny those accusations. Right, anyway. First things first, we got Stream Raiders and we got a boss to defeat right at the beginning of the day. And it's probably not the best idea to, to go straight for the boss, but hey, we are doing this. I, I have faith in you. You can hear that in my voice. There we go. Come on, come on. Yeah, Stream Raiders is taking its time. There we go. You got 30 minutes, chat. You got exactly 30 minutes. To, to, to get this battle populated. We, we need to defeat that orc chieftain or whatever that is. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna start off from my most powerful unit. And believe it or not, it, it is somewhere here. I, I, I just need to find it. There it is. There it is. This beautiful artillery piece will obliterate anything. But it still needs your help. So I'm counting on you. Okay, back to Railroader. Right, speaking of Railroader, I would like to remind everyone that this is open session. Yes. Details of this server are on my Discord and you can always join me and help run this Railroad. It actually makes it easier because as you can see that... Uh, well, my... My route has overgrown my abilities to coordinate things. Just by a tiny bit. And I could use uh, spare hands to actually help run things around. And there is always some work to do. Right. Let's get back to business. Uh, so we got number 10. Uh, it used some coal. So I'm hoping to do reverse half. And we kill that bad boy. And then chug it into the shed. Because that's where it belongs. Okay, you stop. Stop, stop, stop. Perfect. So when that's done, uh, I believe, uh, let me just check if tank is joined or not. Uh, 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 no, no one else joined. So I will have to deal with stuff around with here. And there is a lot of work there. I got absolute tons of work there. Right, let me go to manual, brakes release, forward. Getting a call hopper. What's difficult with it? You just. Right, so the call hopper, which is one of these, it's very simple. It is very simple to fill it. Uh, let me just find. Do I have any empty one? I, I don't think I got empty one at which here. Uh, the one at Witcher was pretty much full. Uh, hang on, that, that's not the Witcher I want. That is the Witcher I want. Perfect. Yeah, this one's full. Uh, so let me show this at Bryson. So, how do you fill it? You, go, you press uh, control click on it. It will bring you 
that little screen for each and every car. Uh, in that case, this is going to be call hopper. You go to operations tab, and that's where you set something called waybill. So, loads to Bryson calling tower. So when the car is loaded, you have to spot it at specific tower. In that case, it's going to be Bryson. Um, pretty self well it it's not intuitive because loads to would refer to where you put the car that is empty but in in the game it is opposite so loaded car goes to bryson empty car goes there so when it's empty you put it at interchange and then you leave that car at the interchange until it is served and when it's served they're gonna give you a full car of coal and that's pretty much it obviously they're gonna also charge you for the coal uh, depending on which car you use it will be well the default car that you get with the game or when you start the game is gonna cost you hundred and fifty dollars to fill so when you leave it at interchange make sure to have hundred and fifty dollars and when interchange is served which you can set in your company tab in settings so interchange is being served at specific hour that's the time when you reach in the game anything that is on the interchange track that needs to go to the interchange will vanish the game will just delete it and then a new cars will appear whatever needs to be done and that includes your call hopper. And then you just need to put it in the place where you want it to. If by any means you need to change... If, if by any means you need to change uh, where you want to spot this car. For example, you don't want it to be at Bryson Calling Tower. Now you want it at Whittier because you need it more there. You just swap it. And then you can press cycle to cycle through those destinations. And it will tell you, okay, now you can spot it at East Wheatier. And then you can eventually change it back. You can also, if you have multiple cars that you want to do the same thing, you can also copy it to any coupled cars that qualifies for those conditions. And the game will automatically set the whale bills for any car that will fit the description. So if you have skeleton cars that can't be set to, uh, to the same conditions, obviously they won't be set. But in that case, I, I don't have anything coupled. Uh, I, I think that's quite the best explanation I can give you how to deal with way bills and, and other stuff. Uh, Rubix. Uh, well... I, I got this notification for marbles in case I am playing marbles. Unfortunately, today I'm not playing marbles. Uh, but if people are willing to, to join marbles stream, uh, then I can arrange that uh, indeed. Uh, right, Tankist, uh, that seems to be good uh, behavior. It's maybe after update, yes. I don't know if they updated that or not, but uh, as, as long as you got way through the interchange, I, I think it lets you uh, or it lets your trains go. I don't know, uh, just make sure that uh, uh, that number three won't run away somewhere. <laughs> Wait. What? Um. E. There we go. Let me just fill up mm. water. There we go. That, that's good. Okay. While this is doing... I need yes, I think to release uh, number two below the passengers. 
Uh, well, it's up to you. You can you can send it further to Wilmot. Yeah, that that's an idea. Anyway, you got a lot of work around with here. So you got those. Uh, pull pull tracks. Uh, two of them are currently in. Uh, in the repair house. So I need you to fill them as soon as possible because they need to go back to Silva. Hopefully with the train at midnight. I see you start answering uh, signals from uh, Vitor to Silva, yes? What? I see you put uh, wagons for uh, signaling. Uh, for instance, inst instant signalization from Vitor to Silva. Uh, yeah, yeah, signals will be installed as soon as this is unloaded. Uh, number three needs to stay up at Whittier for now, so don't don't move it. It will be needed at night. Uh... Let's check the interchange. Mm. I, I think not. Why he stop? Hmm. Okay, that's ready. That's, that's ready. I, I don't think I got anything else to serve in here. Chat. I, I think all that's left. Is with your stuff that tank is, is pretty much sorting. That's a full spare car for Bryson. Uh, obviously, there's no no space to fit two cars, so until I use all that 25 tons of coal, there's no point to move this car. Yeah, uh, so for now, there's nothing else to do, which is good. Gives me a little bit of break. Rubix, thank you very much for follow. Enjoy your new emotes. Okay, okay, so those signals are done. Okay, this thing can now. Belongs road forward fifteen. Number ten is temporarily done, and now I will focus on number two. Let's select this one. Oh, hang on! <laughs> I selected tender. There we go. Right, AI is currently driving this, but that's going to change. Yep. Uh, let me just select this thing. How am I doing for fuel? Uh, 3,000 gallons of water, 2.7 tons of coal. Would be good. Should be good. Right, since uh, since I got nothing else to do for at least a few hours in the game. And I need to wait for Tankis to finish his shunting before I can advance time. I might as well run passenger train. Speaking of passenger train, it's in desperate need of a new wagon. But I don't really want to take loans to buy new wagons. Uh, Tankis, I'm currently driving ARC2 myself, so you don't oh, okay. need to put AI there. 
yeah anyway um I, i'm being bombarded by notifications and all that stuff anyway yes uh, so this train is in desperate need to to get some extra cars uh, it would probably help to to have third passenger car uh, the thing is that i can't really afford it let's, let's have a look at this uh, 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 we need uh, Pullman open platform that's oh actually I, I can just barely afford it <laughs> with the discount that I'm gonna get yeah yeah obviously I, I, I could go for Osgood Bradley still lightweight coach but I don't know this is a this thing is twice as heavy as as Pullman, so I I think Pullman will will do me better in that case. There we go. Trying to use as little water as possible. Although, water is cheap. Well, water is free. <laughs> so, I don't know why I'm doing this. ARC3 is looking at another train, so that means Tank is, is doing something. Why is he... Oh, why is he moving stuff with number three? I, I'm, I'm really going to be mad at him. Number three. Ah. Oh, seriously. Right. Cut this one. And let's get back to my job. Anyway, we are now passing through Thomas Valley. Uh, it's one of the longest passing tracks on, on this part of the route. Perfect if you need to get two trains to, to go, well, to pass each other. And you have one of those very long uh, freight trains that I sometimes build. Not all the passing tracks can fully accommodate uh, long trains so you need to know which one is which so basically on this route there are two we got Thomas Valley and Barkas those two passing trucks can actually take longer trains uh, there is one close to Kowie but I if I remember correctly it was quite short Uh, Rubix, I'm streaming each and every day uh, at the same time, so, yep. That's, that's one of the new changes for, for the channel. Uh, let's, let's remove that. You see? Uh, 
Okay. That's that's rather rough, but we made it. Oh, I, I swear to God. Uh, Tankist, why are you moving number three? Uh, you use... Ah, wait. Yeah. I forgot Rita for uh, what uh, station she... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Let, let me just put it back where it belongs. He's waiting for a night time train because there's nothing to do at Silva and that's it. And I don't want him to do any job because I don't want to refuel it again. So, if I remember correctly, Witcher has number one assigned and just stick to that. There we go. Ah. Oh. Right. Uh, number five, number one. Number one is at Witcher Station. It's, a move. It, it's exactly the one that you decided to keep waiting for passenger train. Wait, he wait for passenger? Well, you wanted it to wait for passenger train. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, you got yourself confused. Anyway. <laughs> the passenger train is gone. Windows, the Windows dead screen I get <laughs> in my brain. Well, I, I, I can imagine. I can kind of imagine. <laughs> uh, right. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, don't don't touch number three. I, I just refueled it and it's I, just I, waiting I, okay, for okay, heavy okay. freight. And, and that's it. Uh, wait, you mean uh, refueling? But he uh, refueled it. I know. For... I, I, I told you I just refueled it. And it's just ah, waiting okay. for the nighttime train to, to act as a helper, and that's it. Okay, okay. <laughs> and it's only because I got no way to refuel at Silva. So then I would have to send it back to Whittier, which would make this whole if operation you should better pointless. If we built a but there, there, depot. But even for... Dillsboro Depot doesn't have... Uh, calling tower is it or th or does it have it uh, Gilsbor i mean uh, Gilsbor depot yeah I but mean. does the depot have a uh, calling tower Right, passenger train is ready to depart. Perfect. Uh, pretty much full. Now we've got some passengers to Bryson with here in Elon. That's fine. Well, from what I heard, that uh, original whistles that are in the game are actually not the best ones. You can probably get better ones uh, with mods, but I, I don't want to use mods because they are only client-side, so if other people don't have mods or same whistles installed, they won't hear them, so it, it, it's kind of pointless.
Hang on. I forgot that my character is in the other locomotive. Go chat. We got less than four minutes until the beginning of the first battle of the day. Place your units now. Okay, we are now at Barker's Creek.
I'm actually surprised how much effort this locomotive needs to put to pull two wagons up this hill. Thirty. Okay, place is the Adelsboro, so that I won't crash into something. Got less than a minute until the battle begins. Still got time. Fifteen seconds. Make quick decisions and place the units. And the battle is ready to begin. Got 37 units. Let's have a look at this. Well, that's nice and cute crowd. Definitely, definitely. As every morning, we are making the same mistake, chat. We got flag bearers. Uh, but, oh, okay. We, we have some fairies. Okay, okay. So maybe it's not that much of a mistake. I shall place... You know what? I, I, I shall place... A defense buff to, to my unit, especially against... Oh, okay. okay, it has range of, of something. Right. Okay, hopefully that will be enough to deal with those spear throwers and, and all that nasty stuff. Uh, we need all the firepower we, we can get for that orc chieftain. Let's begin. Okay, okay, we, we got some... Oh wow, we got rogue level 30, so that, that's why, that's why, that's why. Look at this. That was absolutely amazing. Okay, skeletons were not much. For, for this beautiful army. And the boss has fallen. Cut. That was amazing. First battle of the day and a massive success. We defeated the boss. And th this was beautiful. This was absolutely beautiful. And there we are. We made it to the next stage. Okay, let's, let's quickly upgrade all the units and let's get back to the campaign. Retro Town Teardown. Okay, moderate challenge. No, I, I, I don't think it is any challenge for you guys. You are just amazing. Just too amazing. Okay. So, I will place a healer. This is one weird map, I have to admit. Hang on. Is, is this thing Pokemon inspired? I... Uh, Retro monster. That thing looks like one of the Pokemons. Retro pet shop. That looks like one of those poke shops or whatever. Retro house. We have to defeat the houses. Well, 
I, I hope the game doesn't want us to defeat housing crisis because that's not going to happen. <laughs> right. Anyway. Passenger train is somewhere. Oh, I, I can hear it. I can see it. I, I, I think that's the passenger train. Yes. And yes, one of, one of the new things that some of you might have not noticed. AI uses whistle on railway crossings. And I have to admit, AI is much better at it than me. <laughs> and I, I, I feel really concerned that with with the fast growth ai might actually replace me <laughs> robot streams confirmed there we go okay so that is dillsboro Let's let's turn this thing on. Okay, uh, I believe Tankist is currently yes. He's heading to Connolly Creek uh, with some wagons. Uh, if he collected all of them, I, I bet he did. Yeah, he did not collect all of them. But there's still time. There's still time. Can always do another trip. There we go. We just got some money from Dillsboro. Thirty-seven passengers waiting. Okay, fair enough. How's the water situation? Yeah, water situation seems good. Beautiful. Await electrification and silver line EMU. No, 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 no. There's not going to be any electrification. No electrification. Future updates of the game. I, I doubt they will put electrification. Hmm. Wow, GP9 is very expensive. Switcher is... 25 grand. Oh my days. Well, but it has some. Wow, but the switcher has pretty much the same tractive effort as C46 consolidation. Well, it, it actually has more. Uh, yeah, yeah, the best steam locomotive you can get or the biggest and most powerful you can get in the game is uh, B65 Berkshire. On my line, you can currently find G16 Moguls, uh, two pieces, 10-wheeler, one piece, and G25 Mogul. Those are four locomotives that I have at the moment. Uh, I'm planning to get P18 Pacific uh, for my passenger train. Uh, speaking of that, 
uh, the price for it is the Uh, Rubix, I, I thought about this, but you know, I, I, I have few constraints uh, that, that prevents me from doing so. First one is time that I'm constantly short of. Uh, because in the mornings when I stream, then obviously I, I'm stuck at home doing streaming. And then right after my streams, I go to work and I come back shortly before midnight. Okay, and... and Within that time frame, it's really hard to find a single moment, yes, uh, to to do something else. And I do that six days a week. Uh, that seventh day, I, I usually attend local for meets uh, or or street, yes. Uh, so yeah, again, it's it's rather hard to get into that. If, if I don't have time. That's that's the first issue. Second issue is I kind of can't, aff uh, can't afford it uh, because my job is paying like shit and I'm not really making any money out of streams. Uh, like, apart from small trickle of money that basically doesn't even pay for, for the electricity that my PC uses, and I, I'm not really getting any any revenue of, of my streams and, and videos. So again, that that doesn't really bring me extra money that I could spend on on, on any other hobbies. Uh, and my job barely pays to to cover the bills and, and stuff. So uh, again, I, I'm kind of stuck in that limbo at the moment. Uh, and finally, I don't really have space for model railroad in my house because it's it's tiny. It's, it's absolutely tiny. It's a studio flat. And even like a two or three bedroom flat in, in the UK is rather tight. It, it actually gives you that one extra bedroom to, to use for, for model railway. Uh, but again, I, I do not have extra space. Uh, so those three issues, when I get over them, I will probably start building my own uh, model railway. Uh, little Sproty, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Right, chat. The passenger train has arrived. And now I have money. Uh, see, I... Tankist, I, I tried that uh, the other day. I... I I used to have trains. I, I think I still have trains 2019 or something like that. And it, it wasn't terribly bad. It, it's still a good game. But I just can't get over with, uh, with like, building something in trains. I, I don't know. It's, my, my brain can't handle this. The editor seems to be a bit complicated. I could eventually learn how to use it and build some some fantastic model railway in there and uh, that's true but again uh trains is this kind of game where in order to access the server with the mods that would give me access to the assets that i might actually need uh that that's a difficult story uh, it's it's a game that uh, has some good and some bad 
Uh, but yes, I, I agree. Trains would be an idea. I, I might give it a shot and, and try to build something in trains. And perhaps let people join and, and play with this model railway. Because that's what you can do in trains. Uh, but the problem with trains is that... Uh, I, I, do they have working industries? I, I think you can make industries work in trains, do you? So they can load the wagons, so they, they can unload the wagons. I, I, I think you can do that in, in trains. If that's the case, yes, uh, trains would be an idea. And I might try, but I, I couldn't get over with, with the editor there. It's, it seems a bit complicated. and I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. But again, it, it's time that, that I'm missing the most at the moment. So learning the editor would, would be a problem for, uh, for me. Right, uh, this one's disconnected, but I'm also debating whether I need another passenger car. Uh, do I want to get a third passenger car? You know what? Chat. Hmm. I'm gone. I'm gone. Hang on, hang on. I'm trying to do something. All right, chat. Chat, I need you to cast your vote, okay? So you got three minutes to decide whether I should buy one extra passenger car or maybe I, I, I should not buy one extra passenger car. I mean now, yes? So so you got you got three minutes to help me answer this difficult question. It's on the chat. It's fully anonymous. All you have to do is to press yes or no. And in the meantime, I will be observing. If I consistently get a full train, uh, well, I, I do get full train quite a lot, yes. Okay, I, I can see Tankis just put those uh, pulpit cars, but there are two more uh, two more pulpit cars that he needs to move, and they are still waiting at Whittier Interchange. They've been there for like two days in game. <laughs> And I need them spotted at Connolly Creek pronto. Uh, but to, to give them chance to load, I might actually uh, change their destination. I'm good. Let me just update the way built for them. Wow, this is almost loaded. Connelly Creek P1. There we go. Perfect. 
Okay, chat, the poll is almost finished. Oh, I see. I see. Right, chat. You've made your decision. And I'm getting third passenger car. Now. I can't af uh, I can't afford Osgood Bradley. I can't afford the Palace car. And definitely I can't afford observation car, which, which is very, very late purchase. So we are going for Pullman 1900 open platform, which is exactly the same as, as these ones. There's nothing to be excited about. Uh, so, uh, this guy needs to go to the interchange. Now. Oh, I see. I will probably need to change the color of a new car because they, they won't appear with the correct colors. I'm gone. Where is it? 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 Of course, it has to be at the very end of the platform. Okay, so that's our new passenger car. I don't know. I see the problem with trains is that I'm not following the game. Uh, again, it can be fun, uh, but it's one of those games where I don't quite agree with business model they, they've chosen. Where you have to pretty much uh, buy that uh, like a golden ticket or whatever that is called. If, if you want to pretty much use multiplayer because maps are getting updated so frequently that you constantly need access to, to their download servers. And if you have to download like four gigabytes worth of updates uh, because all the assets have changed on some maps uh, then on the free account it will take you like two weeks to update because they limit your download speed to, to the point where it's pointless to even try so it's a bit terrible in that sense Right, chat. You've made your decision, and now I'm poor. And I got one day and 11 hours to gather $1,680. Because that's how much interest I need to pay for my loan. Which I also need to think about repaying at some point. There we 
you go. ARC-252 has been assigned to passenger division. Obviously. By the way, wh why is it in multiple unit mode? It shouldn't be in multiple unit mode. That's, that's another weirdness of, of number two. Oh, it's in multiple unit mode because I used it uh, yesterday to... Uh, so number three, that ran out of fuel. Ah, ah see chat, I, I, I keep forgetting about those details. C2 is now heading towards this place and I need to go past the station and connect with the wagon. Tankist, are you there? Yes, I hear. Uh, so you got two more cars for for Polkwood at Whittier. That also needs loading. Uh, wait, two two more cars? Yes. Yeah. They are in that repair shed. And they okay. should be ready to be spotted. Okay. That is still loading. Perfect. I'm not ordering new cars for the uh, last phase of, of the bridge building. Uh, this is ready for silver interchange. Okay. Call is taking its time. Furniture is being loaded. Hmm. Okay, number one is heading to Whittier now. Number two is about to arrive at Silva. Ooh, that, that's a weird noise. Now we have nice, long passenger train, thanks to you, chat.
almost. There we go. Now all the cars have the same color. And finally, we need to tell the passengers that they can now load. Beautiful. So I think now we managed to take every single passenger from this station. Wonderful. Oh, again, I'm getting bombarded by notifications, especially from YouTube. <laughs> YouTube is literally bombarding me with notifications today. That's how much new stuff is being posted. Right, I will stop. That should be alright. The locker will stop here and that should be like a middle car. Yeah, perfect. Oh, yeah, and it would probably help. Oh, hang on. It would probably help to release a handbrake. No, I, I, I don't want to open the gate. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Oh, no, she seats in in this car are reversed Just that they are in different orientations oh no what a shame right let's teleport to Dillsboro let's observe the arrival of, of that train perhaps from, from this perspective perfect That's going to be good perspective. And in the meantime, chat, the battle is ready. Why did no one tell me? Oh, yeah, someone actually did. It, it, it's my bot that told me. Right, anyway, chat. Here we are. With our beautiful and magnificent crowd. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. Let me just play... A killing field. And now let's begin. Cats. That is a beautiful crowd. Let's do it. Wonder.
got some retro adventurers that are constantly attacking our army. Outstanding performance, everyone. Outstanding performance. That was beautiful. Alright, chat. Another battle. We got some difficult challenges along the way. But I'm sure you can make it. Okay, the battle is now ready. I will place this chap and it's all on you. one perfect screenshot and I always keep forgetting to turn off the UI <laughs> because I'm fantastic I guess right uh, so now that's the passenger exchange uh, this station usually had quite a lot of passengers yeah there's tons of people for Ela. hopefully this time we will be able to take them all Forty-eight dollars for fares. That's that's all right. Is that it? Is is everyone loaded? Well, we got seven passengers for silver. That was quick. Right, so the passenger train is now heading to Wilmot. Let me just move the camera there. Perfect. Okay, building signals is taking forever. It's definitely going to be a very long process. So I doubt we will see the signals today. Yeah, there's still 4.8 tons in the first wagon, 5.1 in the second one, and two other wagons are pretty much full. Those two Slay and Mika cars are, are still loading as well. And this is pretty much full. Hello, did someone join us? What, really? No, I, I almost thought someone joined us. Okay, so it was probably just my imagination. Right, uh, how's it going on your end, Sankis? I take a lot of organs, I'm going to 
Three angel to turn prime. Just I try um, going to um, wagon's hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Rubix, what do you mean? Uh, I, I think it's made on Unity Engine, if, if that's what you are asking. Uh, although I... I I'm not quite. Yeah, I, I think it will be Unity engine. It actually looks like Unity. Uh, but it's some sort of older version of it. Because the new one is, is literally like showing middle finger to everyone. Uh, from what I've heard. It's, it's like the new Unity engine is actually pretty, pretty bad. And it requires constant connection and stuff like that. They, they pretty much turned it into subscription service and stuff. Oh, there we go. The train is actually here at the tunnel. Yeah, it is surely in the tunnel. Yeah, I can confirm it is. It was in the tunnel. It is. It was. It, it's no longer in the tunnel. I, I can confirm that the passenger train is no longer in the tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen, what a news. So that's there, that's there. Okay, I have to admit that today I managed to improve the efficiency. Which is good. We can finally catch up on the contracts. Speaking of the contracts, uh, let me just have a look at the locations and contract we got so we got tier 3 with Parsons Tannery I, I I don't think we can actually <laughs> fulfill this contract uh, Silver Coal Lumber uh, yeah okay Silver Depot uh, Interchange Paperboard yeah Blue Ridge Locust Pin, yeah, tier 3, Kawe Bridge, uh, we... okay. is, is the... Gone. Is is there anything that I don't know about? Okay, chat. Did anyone get to the point where you had to spot any cars at Kobe Bridge site? Because I, I, I think there is there is some issue here. Because I, I never had to do anything with this bridge. It, it was already built. It was never destroyed. But for some reason this track is, is there and apparently 
that that is a separate location. Okay, this thing produces about six cars a day. We don't really take anything from there. Uh, we got tier three with Slain Mika. Tonally Creek. Uh, yeah, we are constantly taking stuff from there. Polyfield heating oil, uh, we can increase that to tier 4. We don't really service that station that much. Stenzel, Stenzel going to tier 5, why not? With your depot. Sawmill can stay at tier 4. Hila farm supply. Let's do tier 4, Elas Station, Walker Logging, we, we don't really do anything there. Appalachian Hardwoods, we can increase that to tier 2. Uh, uh, Bryson Lumber and Coal, again tier 2. And Standard Oil can go to tier 2. We are supplying everything at the appropriate pace. Perfect. So, tomorrow, the difficulty will go up a little bit. Um, but that will also apply to income. So we should be making a little bit more money. Okay. That's our entire equipment list. Those are all the employees that joined. Crews. Okay. By the way, oh, passenger train is almost at will mod. Okay, and this is at Connelly Creek. Perfect. That's what I need to see. Okay. Perfect. So now we got some quiet time. Uh, is there anything else to do at Whittier? Not really. We are just waiting for them to, to unload. Uh, passenger train is just heading to Wilmot. Okay. So I think when, when the train gets to Wilmot, I can advance time by like or three hours so we can start preparing thing for for night yeah so let's wait for the passengers
or should we just wait for the passenger train to reach Bryson? Because that shouldn't take too long. And then passenger train could effectively yeah, wait, wait at Bryson for... Time advancement. Hmm. That would probably make sense. Oh, no one was getting out at uh, at Wilmot. Yeah, looks like not a single passenger decided to go out. Okay. Let's just make sure that train can go through. there perfect chat less than 14 minutes until the beginning of the next battle place your units now Another nice detail uh, for AI. It's no longer perfectly accurate when it comes to keeping the speed. So sometimes it goes over, sometimes it goes under uh, desired speed, which is which is good. Uh, previously, AI was kind of rigid when it comes to that, so it was able to actually hold a perfect. Uh, 30 miles an hour if you set it for, uh, for that kind of speed. It struggled a bit with higher speeds like 45 or 40. So obviously it can't exactly hold that kind of speed. But on 30 miles an hour uh, it, it used to be very very rigid and strict on it. And, and it was like super precise. Whereas right now, I can see that it can go to nearly 31, 
it can fall down to like 29 point something and, and yeah it, it's not exactly perfect which is good very much for the head pads Station. Four hours. Yes. For, because, for one asset. Yes, because first I must have a um, first class ticket. Uh, it's uh, mean I have only five kilobyte uh, speed of the download. A second, uh, I must find uh, this model in a uh, quick base where I can uh, download this without problem. No, I wait. How can I download it? Far floor house. Nah, that, it it kind of makes it pointless to, to play trains. Like un unless you are paying, which is well, it can be expensive in some countries to get the first class ticket. Some, in, uh, some oh wow, thank you for the bits. Hey, uh, some countries you can buy uh, first class tickets. For at night, for example. Oh yeah, I, I forgot that uh, you are from Russia and, and like most of those stuff won't work anyway. Rubik's, thank you very much for the bits. Wow. That, that's the first bit donation I ever had. Thank you very much. That's illegal, that, that, that's too much, that's too much, too much, too much, too much, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> mm. Well, we just took the leaderboard, <laughs> by surprise.
There we go. The passenger train is now stopping at Witcher. That is if AI will finally stop. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. N now we should get some, some nice cash for tickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we actually had quite a lot of passengers for with here. Look at this. 38 passengers paid us $71. That's that's pretty all right. That, that's all right. I just wish they they could change uh, the way how you can view uh the details of of each station look at this there's 42 passengers waiting for silver that's a lot okay that also means there are no passengers for anywhere else By the way, chat, I will need someone to become a dispatcher. Now, since we got signaling and we will have more signals, I will soon need someone to constantly work as a dispatcher. Or signaler, depending how you want to call this function. Ah uh, yes, um, about um, uh, those problem. Uh, can you have uh, five kilobytes for downloading? For uh, solve this problem, we have a quick base. It's uh, what I said before. Uh, at this base, not uh, all um, assets, but mostly. And you can download uh, how much uh, fast what uh, in trend you can give. I see. Uh, but see, the problem with those databases is that uh, eventually the asset itself will get updated and then it needs to be updated in the database as well. So someone will still have to download it at, at you know, that very slow speed yeah some may someone maybe can uh, buy a first class ticket because he life uh, or uh, life on another country or have a bank uh, card of another another country download uh, from the download station we for first class ticket and she load after that uh, the quit base and she maybe or update I uh, mean, yeah, that's that's one way of doing it. Yes. But again, I, I'm I'm not in support of of this model where modders can upload something into download station that basically doesn't really allow downloading anything if you don't pay. Yes, uh, it's a problem it's... here. You have a uh, unit. Uh load uh, 700 uh, assets for a road yeah I, I i've seen routes like that they are fantastic but yeah with with the number of individual assets that you need to download uh, it just takes like you can't spend like three or four months downloading a single map it, it's ridiculous so, so I, I, I can understand that okay th they could limit it wait, so, wait, so wait, that I... like it will take you like a day to, to download it but if, if it's gonna take you a year to download a single map it's uh, like you you not include a notch uh, uh, available to download at uh, download session assets it's mean some uh, assets notch will be can download from uh, Download station because he deleted from download station. It's a big problem. 
you need a search in internet uh, from at another uh, site to find assets. Oh, I see. So that makes it even worse. Battle time! Thank you very much, Rubix. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, right, let me just teleport the camera uh, to next destination for that train. Uh, perhaps, yeah, that, that will be a good spot. And in uh, the meantime... So Let's go to Stream Raiders. Some uh, developers uh, who make maps. Uh, um, this is load beautiful. That, uh, South side has uh, parts, uh, map with uh, parts uh, for um, not to download uh, too long. Okay, do we want to buff our defense? I, I don't think we need to buff our defense. You know what? I, I've never tried this spell. And let, let's let's give it a shot. It gives everyone haste. Yes, last for both range fire rates by 100 Oh, I see. I see. High ground. Okay. So, yes, this time archers and all ranged units are going to receive a boost. Right. Let the battle commence. Beautiful. Wow. Enemy has mounted a large force, but we, we seem to be doing great. Okay, okay. We are in some trouble, but Rigo B is, is dealing with, with the issues in a very professional manner. Fantastic. Our ranged units that are now boosted are completely destroying those spiders. And we won. Chat, we won. That was a fantastic battle. Really outstanding performance. Congratulations to everyone who just got a prize. Uh, okay, I got warrior scrolls, so that, that's the unit that I actually never use. And I got some gold coins. Perfect. Let's, let's have a look. Warrior. He is now level 6. I need to give him some law. Okay, chat, the next battle is now loading. That looks like a massive chess board. Okay, so this time I, I will give some love to my warrior because he's been there forever supporting me like a brave soldier. Good, and, and he never had his chance to, to prove how great he is. So now this brave warrior is going to take the lead of this beautiful army that will show up in, in this area. Yes, that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a good commander. Okay, Twig. Chimera is, is leading the charge from the south. Perfect, perfect. We got some dark and light knights. We got some pawns. We got some chimeras. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got rooks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A very, very, very difficult and chess inspired glitchy map. Right, let's get back to the railroad there. We shall... Go. Let's just... 
perfect. That is a perfect angle. Might even go closer. I need more screenshots, chat. I need much more screenshots. Right. Anyway, the train should now be ready. Look at this. We we got to Ila and, and the train is pretty much empty. We got 22 passengers waiting. Okay. Perfect. And this train is now heading to Bryson. Verify, yeah, that is all set. Beautiful. Okay, so as soon as this train gets to Bryson, I think we can uh, speed up some time. Uh, let's have a look. Things are still loading. Oh, we got only one car in here. Yeah, this is going to take forever to load. That's only 6.7 tons, which means... Nah, it's gonna take forever. And I need this train to be ready by midnight. Although, hang on, hang on. It should be ready by midnight. I'm sure it will be ready by midnight. unloading how how is this going this is still loading yeah very good, very good. so it's only number two that's heading to bryson that we need to wait for Place the camera here. And we can now wait. And you know what, chat? While we are waiting, I might take this opportunity and make myself a coffee. Yes. Chat, that is a brilliant idea. So, I will announce now a quick break yes so everyone if you want to make yourself a brew get a fresh cup of coffee fresh cup of tea now is the time because i'm gonna do the same yeah so there will be no content nothing that you can possibly miss not that you would miss it anyway because that video in like four or five days will end up on youtube but just in case, yeah, if you feel like you would be missing something, have no fear. There will be no content for next 5 to 10 minutes. So, take this chance to get a new fresh cup of tea or coffee. And then share your favorite drink on my chat.
Есть съемка железной дороги запрещена. Камеру вырубай. Камеру вырубай, кому сказал? Лежу не по маршруту стрелка. Я, конечно, беду, у меня не белка. Если я держу совсем другое. Не метро, а пиво, пиво разливное. everyone i am back thank you for waiting and my apologies uh, that it took so long hey wh where's the locomotive oh okay you took it oh i see i see i see uh make sure to close the hatch thank you very much okay Ah, oh, thank you very much for head parts. That's that's nice. That's really nice. I'm a bit thin. Uh, interlocking tower will be working normal. It's uh, mean I um, I mean about interlocking tower where um, railroad crossing another side of uh, city tower. I mean, it does work normally. You just have to switch mode because it's currently I it's mean, uh, in, in uh, for uh, station interlocking tower. It's mean uh, disp uh, dispatcher of station for controlling all. Um... But there, there is no such thing. Uh, 
Uh, the only thing that uh, CTC is gonna do, it will Let's allow you to it. operate uh, the main line, but side tracks, all the sidings, that, that's manual and, and that's gonna remain manual. Uh, if I remember correctly, there is no such thing as, as like a separate CTC for each station. It's it's United States, so they, they operate completely different. So it's in Europe, where you got interlocking stations or signaling boxes uh, for specific station and where one person can operate each and every switch along entire station. In the US, they operate only the main line, which is like one or two tracks so that the trains can, can go on on the main line. But any side track, that's operated by station crew, at least at, at the times depicted in the game. You grabbed some Coca-Cola in a coffee mug. A Coca-Cola for a coffee in a coffee mug. That's that's very interesting thing to do. I can't say it's wrong because I like Coca-Cola. So <laughs> And it's it's one way of Uh, it's one way of, of doing things. Hang on, hang on. I, I'm getting some notifications here. There we go. Oh my days. Makes it more interesting that it's 6, 12 a.m. here. I mean, I, I don't blame you. Like, uh, it's 11, 13 a.m. where I am. So, you know, it. Okay. What, what's going on with this train? Why is it set for such a high speed on the I want to um, use as a strange authority. You want to couple to another rent? Yes. Well, yeah, that's that's the point. But but the passenger train is gonna stay here for a while. Okay. So to all stations, yes. To Bryson, I uh, yeah, you can set it to to load for all stations, but uh, I won't be moving passenger train for a few hours of in-game yeah. time at least. Speaking of a few hours, uh, I need to. Hang on, I, I can try this. There we go. We got daily report. Yes. Signals are installed. I know. I know that signals are installed. Uh, right, Tankist, uh, some of the cars that, that you had at Connelly Creek should be ready, or almost ready. So keep an eye on them, because I need those cars at Whittier as soon as possible. Uh, also, lock cars are ready, so you can swap them at uh, Sawmill. Uh, let's 
have a look. Uh, I think there is one car at Ila that needs to be moved to Whittier. Yeah, there is at least one car that needs moving to Whittier. Uh, let's have a look at Whittier. Uh, uh, uh. There doesn't seem to be anything at Whittier that needs moving. Twitter said my life not forgot uh, trainer fully road loaded. Uh, yeah, move. the one at Sawmill just move it to uh, to the interchange tracks. It will be picked at midnight. Uh, same goes to that pole port. When it's ready, just move it there. Stack everything and it will be moved at night. Same as every day. Uh, logs are nearly unloaded at the sawmill. Oh, okay. And and they won't be unloaded. Because the storage is full. <laughs> so that last car, you can leave it on, on the siding and, and take the rest of them and, and stack them at, at the sawmill. Okay, in the meantime... Oh, and there are some cars at Wilmot that needs picking. Yeah, pretty much everything at Wilmot needs picking. And that needs to be moved to Interchange as well. Well, uh, to uh, Whittier Interchange. Uh, there's one car at Dillsboro. Uh, but that will be sorted between midnight and five. Uh, I should be able to do that. Or I might get passenger train to do it. Nah, passenger train. We need to do passenger things. Oh, and there are two cars that... Oh, there are, there are four cars in here that needs to move to, to the interchange. But again, that will be separate job. And I will sort that out later. Uh, let's quickly check Bryson. Only one car for Bryson. Two cars from Bryson, okay. All right, everyone. Now it's gonna get busy. Exactly at 8, Bryson Division will begin a heavy freight operation, which basically involves shunting all the cars onto the sidings and getting them to Whittier Interchange, where I will pick up a second part of the train. And because of the low volume, I'm not taking that risk. <laughs> I, I thought about moving number three to Silva right now. But I, I, I don't want to take that risk. Because I, I know how it's going to end. It, basically, the story behind it is... I'm going to move number three to Silva to do that 
counting that there is to do uh, in there and, and there's like literally five cars to, to move and I will regret it because then number 10 will have to deal with everything alone and I will have 10 pulpwood cars that is 50 tons each so that's 500 tons already just for the pulpwood plus two cars from Bryson plus about eight additional cars yeah okay I, I will need two locomotives no doubt about it it's gonna be like 1500 tons train something like that okay so yeah number three needs to stay at with here even though it's kind of getting in the way but it is what it is sometimes you just do what you gotta do Anyway, chat, I would like to remind everyone that if you want to join in and help, this is an open session, so as long as you have Railroader and you wish to participate in the game, we are on Discord, on my Discord, so you have to join the voice chat. And you can find the details of, of this session on my Discord. And you can just join in and help us. Uh, right, the battle is ready. Uh, let me just select yard five for uh, for this locomotive, so it will connect to the wagons. And in the meantime, in the meantime, I will apply a handbrake. Which oh, okay, uh, tank is actually applied a handbrake. It's very good, very good. Right, so let's focus on stream raiders. Okay. So our forces spread out a little bit along the chessboard. We got a very small destruction force, as I would like to call it, uh, down there on the south. Uh, we got main attacking force at north side. And we got some very, very difficult opponents there. Right, and I can only place one spell chat. So let me boost the defenses of the south group. Because these brave soldiers will have to survive a lot. They will have to survive a lot, I'm telling you that. And let the battle commence. Mm -hmm. There we go. South army is taking fire from the roof look at that range oh my days but it's a good distraction so the main attacking force is now flowing through and, and they are attacking the roofs can they actually do it southern force made its way to the light roof fantastic outstanding performance okay okay main attacking force is continuing their campaign and they are heading for the dark group which has amazing range you can pretty much attack everyone on the entire map but is is that gonna be enough no no that was not enough for them chat this was amazing and fantastic battle random rewards go goes to some of my viewers congratulations each one of you will get five gold coins and three lucky winners will get additional rewards and i'm getting 10 gold pieces so that's that that's a good reward i guess i, I deserve that <laughs> totally right bones earned from versus events I, I i don't know what to do with the bones if, if someone can uh, can explain it to me. I, I I will happily. Hang on. Can I actually spend them in store? Peace. Oh, so I can.
any of the sylvan skin oh that look at those sweet teeth i can get typical oh i can get double sockets okay, okay. blob chest what what is that it gives me blob nigiri blob oh my goodness me look at that sweetheart uh right amazon oh this, this is a brave brave woman okay bones what i can get from bones wwr the lifter tank look at this i need 250 bones for that oh that that that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot power oh this is a spy scroll wwr no. I, I have to say those 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 things are, are not good those glitch battle pass for stream raiders okay 200 even tokens um, okay there is nothing good. there is nothing good let's let's proceed to another battle chat there, there, there's nothing good in that store remember if you offer a product it needs to have value and i i don't see value in anything right chat i think i can Yes, I, I can get my necromancer into this battle. Because he needs some law. He needs some law. Yeah, yes. He needs to start building a bigger yeah. army. There we go. We got a healer. Right. Fantastic. That is outstanding. Perfect. Just perfect. Right, chat. Let's get back to Ray Roder. Okay, so the passenger train is almost ready for its final journey. Uh, let me just make sure that everything is set up. Yes, yes, yes. We got 180 passengers, chat. And they are heading everywhere, which is perfect. Road forward 30. That's the maximum speed for the passenger train on my beautiful railway. Okay, uh, so now uh, while the passenger train is heading to Ila, which is my first destination, I can actually put QC there. Okay. Let's see. Uh, 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 number one is heading to Connolly Creek uh, for whatever reason. That is still loading. Oh my days. Hope what will be delivered at the very end of the day. No doubt about it. It's taking ages to, to load. And it's taking ages to unload. Which is a huge problem. Always. Oh my days. These cars are only halfway loaded. That's another problem. And I need those too. Okay, so it's gonna be busy, chat. It's gonna be busy, especially for Tankis. Because he needs to move all that by midnight. So there's just a few hours left. It will happen tomorrow. For most part. But on the other hand, yeah, I, I'm sure we can make it, chat. We can make it. Hang on. Will it happen tomorrow, though? 
Yeah, I think I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. There's definitely a stream in, in the afternoon or late evening. Not sure about morning. That If that's going to happen, then it's going to be impromptu. And on top of that, why is number two not moving? I'm going to tell you why it's not moving. Because in... In all my... Smartness, I, I, I guess that, that would be the description. I decided not to release handbrake. But it is now fixed. Wonderful. Okay. So that leaves us with... With only two cars to move around Bryson. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, Connelly Creek. Uh, uh, Tank is dealing with this issue. Yeah, he's gonna move those cars to Sawmill and replace them with whatever needs to go there. I will need some more focus cars. Because it, it takes too long to, to get those cars ready. Uh, so I, I need a well alternative source of focus. Okay, tank is no problem. Okay, so he'll be back in about 15-20 minutes. Let me just double check whether his train is fully routed. So we can avoid any potential disasters. Of course it's not. Uh, he is pulling that, so he needs, I need to go there. I need to go there. go into this truck. Again, place a few seat there. Now, all the set of cars will be on this truck, hopefully. One point two logs and, and that can't be unloaded because sawmill is absolutely full. Okay, number two is heading to Ila. Number ten is still at Bryson. Perfect. Number three is waiting for for number ten to, to go with heavy freight. But since nothing is ready for heavy freight yet, because that's going to be stored in here and at Bryson sidings, we are still waiting. In 
one day and five hours I need to pay the interest on my loan. That is a lot of money to pay. Right after midnight, God, I'm going to be focusing on repaying that loan. Just a tiny bit so I can reduce the interest. Because we really, we really need to do that. Honestly, chat. I, I, I can't have interest payments every five days. And now that we have so much work, we basically need to survive through this difficult period. And over the next few days, we need to focus on repaying the debt, improving our contracts, supplying all the businesses on time so we can get paid more and more and more and more, and then invest in new rolling stock. I think we should be all right with the passenger service right now, since we got three passenger coaches. That should be more than enough. I might eventually increase uh, the revenue by 20% if I will invest additional, I think, 10 grand into that spotter car. Uh, but that creates a little bit of an issue when it comes to uh, switching. Because every single time I need to change direction that observation car yeah that's that's how it's called it needs to be placed at the end of the train but I can be very very cheeky and just place two of them one on each end of the train so the bonus will always apply but only for one of the cars <laughs> The only problem is that those cars are taking only 25 passengers, so it will require a strong locomotive, two additional cars that will increase the capacity of the train only by 50 passengers. So there are some downsides to it, but yeah, I, I can be very lazy and cheeky. And I think that will work. Uh, also, I believe there are some signals, yes, uh, we should have them. So, uh, there is no signals there, and the first signal is here. This one's green. Okay, chat. We now got signals all the way. All the way to silver. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I really wish in automatic mode this would work either automatically so if there are no trains on any of the blocks it just switches them and I could set this track to be permanently a cross track which means that when this junction is in this position, letting trains from this direction. This one automatically switches to the opposite. So it will let trains from this direction, but it won't let the train out until the train is in this section and none of the tracks all the way until Whittier Depot are occupied. If at this moment nothing is occupied, this signal should automatically change, switch should change, and AI dispatcher should recognize, okay, I just need to change this passing track to the opposite direction. And same would go, as soon as this changes, it should also change the junction on the opposite side. So it always works in this way that the trains can pass whether there are some trains running or not it doesn't matter because ai should handle everything it will just create that little hold off to compensate for the lack of human dispatcher 
or human signaler. And this way, even if I would send two AIs in opposite direction, technically, it should make it so that AI recognizes, okay, we need to allow these trains to pass, so we need to wait for this train to come into passing loop in order to send another train through. I, I, I think that would be great. I, I think that would be a brilliant idea, and I, I wonder whether developers could program it like that. I'm quite sure there is a way to do it. But whether they want to do it, that is another story. Anyway. Number two. Is now... At Ila. Number two is also full. And we failed to... To take all the passengers. That is... Not good. But... It is also what it is okay hang on let me just make sure yep this train will go there uh, with your station uh, there both signals are red because there is a train coming from from there Picking up number one, which is currently heading. No, that's that's number three. Where is number one? Ah, number one is here. Because Tankist was planning to actually take this one. Okay. So let me just quickly. He's always setting it for 45 miles. I think I need to introduce some speed restrictions on the line. Anyway, oh chat, this is at 38 tons now. We are getting there, we are getting there. 12 tons. And these cars are ready. Classic lock train right there, yeah? I really wish that developers would introduce more cargoes that players can uh, can transport and load on on our line using our own cars uh, when it comes to company cars I can only buy skeleton cars uh, that can take logs I can all uh, I can buy flat cars that can take pulpwood I can buy a tanker that can take oil and I can buy two types of hoppers that can take coal. Uh, but it would be nice to have some sort of iron ore, for example, which would be a different cargo for a, for a hopper, really. Uh, something for a boxcars, for example, that I can use my own boxcars. And, for example, supply them to interchange and, and earn money on that. Oops. AI just rammed it. Oh, it rammed it because the handbrake on the last car wasn't applied. So that's that's one thing. Uh, so yeah, it, it would be nice to, to get more 
uh, like a income from uh, from the entire route. For example, all the contracts with uh, with here. It would be nice if they if they would require my own cars to be supplied to the interchange so that they can be loaded by another railroad and put back on the interchange the next day for example so it would have one day lag but as long as i can supply enough rail cars of my own the other railways wouldn't supply their own cars and thus allow me to increase my income that that would be brilliant Okay, we got ARC2 heading to Whittier, we got ARC1 heading for that Y, which will allow me to send trains from Whittier to, to Wilmot. Speaking of Wilmot, gotta make sure that train there will stop, I, I might as well do that. And then the train will stop at, at this junction. Question is, is this going to shut the signal? It did. It actually shut the signal. Okay. So I need to use the PC. which I can place only as far as, as here. Or I can place it right behind the junction. And just block the junction. But this, is, this is as far as I can place QZ. So that's pretty much locomotive in the first wagon. Yeah. ARC2 stopped for a QZ. Okay, and ARC1 is heading down. Perfect. Bryson train is still waiting on Bryson. I might activate it one hour earlier. We'll see. Nah, actually, number 10 can wait and I will activate it tomorrow morning. Is there, there is no point to, to do it now. Okay, we just got paid. Uh, question is how much? Sixty-three dollar dollars for thirty-three fares. Okay, 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 okay. That's 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 pretty good. And this is currently fully loaded. And there's still so many passengers waiting. Look at this. 26 passengers for Silver Depot. I will need another run to deal with this.
Okay, this junction can be thrown. Okay, lovely. So that's the passenger train that can now go. Uh, let's see, water is good. Coal is good. Off we go. ARC2. Okay, 30 miles an hour. I think Tankis is back with uh, with ARC1, is he? Well, he surely increased the speed. Yeah, there we go. He's now down to 15. So I'm sure he's working on this. Yeah, he threw the switch. So he will now be shunting things. In the meantime, passenger train is passing through. Wonderful. Okay, I will leave it to Tankist. Uh, how's this? 5.9, 3,900. Okay, yeah. So we used a little bit of call with that tiny misunderstanding, but that can that can stay as it is. Right, chat. Can anyone tell me if that? Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, milestone. Yes. Uh, if Dillsborough Engine Service and or Dillsborough Yard have uh, facilities to refuel, like at least coal shoot like that would would do. If there are facilities like that. Then I'm investing in that. I, I can guarantee you this. Because <laughs> I desperately need something to be able to refuel locally rather than going all the way to Whittier, which is kind of defeating the purpose. Also, I, I wonder if. Yeah, I think this should have more than enough time to actually move all the cars. So he, he needs to move those lock cars. Then basically... Until those pulpit cars are loaded. He technically has no interest in this area. And, and there's still about 5.8 tons to load. So that's about an hour at least.
well he can add uh, he can actually hold on for about two hours because those two also needs loading yeah and and there's that remaining four at, at the very end yeah he can actually hold on until at least 9 p.m with any operations at uh, Connelly creek And until then, I need him to collect something from Ila. Uh, there is something to collect from Wilmot. So basically both ends of, of his operating range. And he needs to place it at Witcher Interchange. So then Heavy Freight Train will take it to Silva. In the meantime, number two should make another full run. Chat, the battle is ready. So let's hop into Stream Raiders. My apologies for chaffing sounds, but that, that will assist us throughout this encounter. I will place Killing Field in front of our unit, so whoever enters this area will get a buff. And now, chat. Let the battle commence. That, that is a beautiful massacre. Our army is just dealing with the enemies unopposed, basically. Those retro adventurers stand no chance against our beautiful and amazing army. And they have been defeated. And the captain chest has been opened. And random victors have been chosen. Congratulations to everyone. Chat. We've got time for one more battle today. And this time we're gonna defend our position. Okay. I want to see the best defensive army in my entire life. At least until the next stream, of course. Look at this. We have a very, very, very difficult defense this time. Extremely hard challenge. But I'm sure but I'm sure we're gonna make it so chat give me your best unit okay I want your best unit I will be placing a tongue right in here there we go I'm gonna defend you against those two towers and or guards and Orc warriors and all all the other warriors, but yeah, I need your help. I can't do it alone. We need medics, we need flag bearers, and we need tanks and other great units. So chat, place your army there. We got 28 minutes until the last battle of today's stream. In the meantime, we're back in Railroader. And our passenger train just made its way to Wilmot. A 
tiny station in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Chat, it looks like... Looks like Wilmot won't be serviced. Chat, there is no space. This train has no space. Also, why... Uh, th that is my fusee. And that is my fusee. Oh, so you can place two fusees on, on two ends of, of the junction. Good to know. Normally the game doesn't allow you to place two fusees close to each other. Right. Uh, so, uh, since we can't do anything at Wilmot, because our train is fully packed, we can't load any more passengers. We have to go to Dillsboro. And Dillsboro has now beautiful signals. Which is the first change. Let's have a look how Silver Interchange looks like. With the brand new signals. Okay, that, that is Silver Station. There's only one entry signal and nothing else. And there are no signals anywhere further. Okay, so, so this area is still as it was. And basically, that is the only signal that is left. Uh, so, question is, if I will change that signal, is it going to close this? No, it isn't. Perfect. So, it's still showing orange. Despite having no way to pass through the station. Fantastic. So I, I like how this signal works. It actually... Oh, CTC end. See, it, it even tells you that this is pretty much CTC end. So both of these signals are showing, yeah, it's a green light. Which is fantastic. Fantastic. It actually works as it should. And hopefully... All the signals will now work as they should. Okay, passenger train is heading to Dillsboro. have a look at Tankist. He's the only person who has some work right now. He needs to spot those cars. He needs to spot those cars. And then deal with those issues. Uh, can he make it? Uh, quite easily. I, I, I'm, I'm fairly confident he can, he can do it. I might eventually use ARC3 to help with Wilmot later, but that's in case uh, things will go downhill. Or I can use number 10 to pick up that ELA car, uh, which would probably make sense. Yeah, I think I can do that. Kukuts, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Yeah, I, I think I can actually pick it using number 10. 10 but there's no need to do it just yet okay wonderful things managed to calm down a bit that's good everything became a little bit more manageable for now Thanks to the passengers, we have steady stream of money. So by the end of the day, we should be able to repay another grant out of our loan. Which is very, very important. And before interchange will be serviced, we should be able to actually 
pay even more of the loan. I wonder what will happen if uh, if we don't have enough money to pay the interest. Is, is the game going to end? Because you, you went into bankruptcy. I, I, I doubt it, it would. Uh, it, it would be stupid to, to put a company into bankruptcy for $1,600 <laughs> that I can easily make. But if anyone knows the outcome, I would love to know it. Still got 50 minutes until activation of number 10. Well, probably less than 50 minutes because I'm going to finish the stream after the next battle, which is uh, give or take 30, 40 minutes. And then with the beginning of the next stream, I can actually carry on with uh, operations uh, for number 10. In the meantime, yeah, tankies should have more than enough time uh, to deal with those problems. So now he's gonna spot those skeleton cars, wherever they need to be spotted. And he has some L3, L2, L1. It's a total mix. It is an absolute mix. But I think what we can do... Nah, let's leave it as it is. He'll be fine. Right, so he's spotting that. Hopefully he can make it. And I will focus on passenger train that is heading to Dillsboro. help him a little bit I will also activate number 3 road forward 30 and I will quickly collect the cars from Wilmot just to make sure that everything is ready that we got no delays. Uh, so I can place the PC there. Gather all this. Move it to Witcher Interchange. And I will then go back and refill number three, uh, which I will have to do anyway. Okay. In the meantime, number two is nicely moving through, heading towards the tunnel, which is just around the corner. There we go. I just realized that I know this map so well that I already know what's going to be behind the corner even if I don't see it. <laughs> oh dear. Imagine knowing map so well. Okay. Uh, we also need to dig out this NYC47577. At least at some point. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like these cars can be dug out anytime soon. Yeah. I could technically send it to Silva Station or something. Uh, but I, I don't think that will work. 
I'm also wondering how the Dillsboro uh, Yard is going to look like. Are they going to extend it uh, around this area, perhaps? Which would make sense. It, it would fill into the line of, of the river. And there seems to be enough space to put a small yard. And I think that's where it is located. If anyone has a screenshot of it, I would love to see it. Because I, I think it starts somewhere here. And it goes around. And these cars... I don't know. I don't know. These cars are probably somewhere else. Or there are additional tracks on the outside that would basically serve the same purpose. So you can have interchange on the inside. I don't know where they want to put interchange at, at Dillsboro. Unless it is here. Because that, chat, that is an empty space. So it might be there. Hmm. Interesting. And there is actually sign. Yeah, so those borrow technically starts here. Yeah, so that's going to be interchange. Uh, well, interchange. Uh, yard will be here. So the station won't change. It will still remain as it is. Uh, but there's going to be yard here. Because otherwise, why, why the sign would be there? If the actual station... That's only somewhere here, so they might as well put sign right in here. Ah, cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Definitely, yeah, that, that's going to be the sign. First junction would be probably right behind the sign. And off we go. Around this bend, three or four tracks, not a problem. You can easily make it. There's probably like three tracks. Which isn't that bad of an idea in the end. Hang on, let, let's see how much it would cost. Uh, Hillsboro engine service would cost me $3,750. And yard would cost me another $3,750. So that's $7,500 to fully build Hillsboro. Quite expensive, I should say. Still got plenty of water, plenty of coal. And hopefully now, after a visit at this station, I will have plenty of money. go train stopped for a few Z
ARC3 also stopped for a few Z. Wonderful. So, oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Uh, okay, it's ARC3. Uh, perfect. Whew. Almost got scared that I'm on number two, but number two, you pretty much don't have to touch anything. $234, okay, okay, for about 70 fares. That's, that's fair price, fair price. Damn it, I get again. I full oh. I full, I out of water. You run out of water? Yes. Uh, it's a uh, second time after. <laughs> right. Since you are at Connolly Creek, can you just yeah. roll back to to Whittier? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you won't make it, I will have number three at Whittier really soon. Uh, I just went to collect that. Listen, you know it's a uh, second time. Can I uh, run run out of water? It happens. It happens. But yeah, tr try to roll back. I'm moving. That, that, that's good. That's really reassuring. No handbrake. Road forward. There we go. Heading to Silva, perfect. Number 10 is at Bryson, and number 1 is trying to roll back to it here. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, reverse 5. like there are no more handbrakes road forward 15 there we go
30 and I need to set things up with you so I need to be on this truck place a PC there should give me just enough space ooh Ooh, I got a dark shades now. Thank you very much. <laughs> very stylish. Very stylish. Okay. So, number three is coming back to Wilmot. Number two... Just made me some extra money so I could pay a grand. We're getting the chat, we're getting the. Our depth is decreasing slowly but steadily. Okay, let's focus on number two, which is currently at silver. Perfect. So, uh, we need to apply the handbrake. Disconnect the coupler. Extinguish the fusee. And run around the train. In the meantime, passengers can load the price Shouldn't be too many. No, okay, okay. Surprising, surprising. There were 50 passengers for Bryson. That's gonna pay a lot, chat. That's gonna pay a lot to have 50 passengers for Bryson. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a solid fill of, of this train. Okay, number one is trying to roll in and stop at the water column question is can he make it can tankist actually make it come on tankist you got one shot on this Okay, don't worry, I'll, I'll give you a pull in a second. Mm -hmm. 
number three should make it in, in just literally a couple of minutes. You can uh, just uh, re uh, refilling uh, get uh, into the comedy. <laughs> Okay, ARC2 is now heading for the passenger wagons. Fantastic, fantastic. almost forgot that now since there are signals I need to set it like that we just put as I don't need any fuses there Scene two is now connected. Uh, I just need to get the glad hands on brakes. Road reverse thirty. There we go. And this one can go to Dillsboro. Beautiful. In the meantime, number three. Meantime, number three, go around these wagons. Go. 
Okay, and this is all set up. So now this train should actually get to number one. Perfect. Okay, so I'll leave this part to Tankis. And I will sort out the battle. Yes. Thank you very much, Rubix. Look at this. Look, look, look at that. Look at this beautiful crowd, chat. Th th this is amazing. Okay. This is absolutely amazing. Look, look at this beautiful crowd. Right. The question is which which spell should we play? Hmm. You know what? We'll leave this main army. And let's boost this part now. We need to defend here. Otherwise the army will crumble. And we will lose our epic artillery. And let the battle commence. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this. Our massive army stands strong. We suffered some losses. But our brave defenders are still holding the positions. And now they're off. Battle is over. Congratulations, everyone. That was beautiful. Cat, that was absolutely beautiful. Five random brave generals get extra rewards. On top of five gold that everyone gets. Outstanding performance. Chat, you did a great job. Okay, uh, I, I don't see any units that I can upgrade. Let's go back to campaign window and right, chat. I really wish to continue and, and get to this boss. But same as every day, the time has come. I need to go to work really soon. And I will be wrapping up things uh, really, really quickly. So I'm really glad for all your contributions towards this Stream Raiders campaign. We still got four days and six hours to, to beat some of the maps. And I will be back streaming tomorrow. Whether something's going to happen in the morning or not, uh, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But there is definitely a stream scheduled for the evening. I'm not sure what I will be doing exactly. I haven't taken that decision yet. It's, it's probably too early today <laughs> to do it. Uh, but I will eventually figure something out. Uh, I can guarantee you though that whatever time I will be streaming, Stream Raiders will be on. And I'm looking forward to see some amazing and impressive armies here, okay? So, definitely chat. Uh, oh, I had parts. Thank you very much. Uh, so, yes, yeah, Stream Raiders will definitely be here. Uh, I'm not sure about Raid Order. Uh, I might switch games and, and do something else for, for a change uh, so that people can have some refreshment. We'll see, we'll see. Or I might do stream, uh, well, Ray Roder in the morning and then something else in the afternoon. Possibilities are endless. Uh, we'll see whether there's going to be two streams or whether there's going to be one stream. I'll find out tomorrow. 
until then, well, stream raiders are over. And we still got a few minutes left with raid over So let's enjoy that last few minutes. Okay, this train is now ready to decouple from ARC-3. I will wait for tankies to refuel. And ARC-3. Uh, let me just see what I can do with it. Right, so these cars are spotted where I want them to. And for now, I don't see any more use for ARC-3. Uh, but because I did that extra work, I used some pressure skull and water. And I want this locomotive to be as full as possible by the time it will act as a helper for heavy freight. Because then ARC3 stays at Silva and there is no fueling station. So I want to have every bit of fuel that I can get. Okay. So that's water. Uh, let's see if Tankis is taking any call or not. Uh, we'll, we'll see. It might be a good opportunity to actually uh, fuel up call. Yeah, he, I think he's taking call. Yeah, he's gonna take some. There we go. Beautiful. I will also set up train from Dillsboro. Okay, so train is ready to depart from Dillsboro. There's, yeah, there's only four passengers for Silva. I can now get. Uh, 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 where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? I can extinguish this fusee as it won't be needed. I can get the fusee there so the train can stop at. Wilmot. Not that there are any passengers waiting, I'm, I'm sure of it. Okay, this is still fueling up. Perfect. So ARC-1 is ready. And ARC-3 is ready. Outstanding. So we can actually send this one. Yeah, it's going in reverse, is it? Yeah, it is going in reverse. Okay, I will select this one. And refuel it manually. Technically, you shouldn't have two trains on the same track uh, that are moving, but hey. At the time when when this railroad takes place, safety wasn't even invented. Okay. There we go. Well, that was almost perfect. There's only a few gallons of water that I need to fill. There we go. Stow the water tall column. Uh, we can now reverse a bit. A 
Let's put some coal in. Perfect. And number three is now ready to go road forward 15. And hide on this truck. Until it is actually needed. Okay. Wonderful. Passenger train is about to arrive at Barker's. Number one is heading to Connolly with a slight delay. Okay. Fantastic. Just place the camera in here. All right, everyone. We have reached the point when it's time to say goodbye. Whew. That was an amazing stream. Uh, today we had a bit less work than usual. Uh, it was relatively light day on, on this railroad. If, if, if you've been watching previous streams, you probably noticed that, yeah, apart from running passenger train, uh, I, I had not much to do. Which is good. For a change, you sometimes need that one light day when when you can just relax and take a break. And today was the day, yes. Uh, not much happened. We've been working hard to repay our debts. We made small investments into passenger train that is actually bringing us regular revenue and I'm happy about that. And things went smooth. No accidents, no fails. A day as it should be. Anyway, chat. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up if you are watching me on YouTube after the stream ended, obviously. Uh, if you are watching me here on Twitch, then obviously drop me a follow. And that really helps the channel grow and generally helps me run this channel don't forget to join my discord where you can find information about the session that we are playing at or chat about many other train related hobbies and not only train related hobbies and finally there we go ah oh, tankies tankies you you haven't been following no way and, and uh, oh and and you triggered a follower goal that's a brilliant that's a brilliant finish chat uh, i i just met a follower goal so yes uh thank is, is my 200 follower congratulations 
Okay. Right, so that is a fantastic finish of, of today's stream. Uh, thanks a lot, everyone. And I'll catch you next time. Uh, don't forget to check my schedule here on Twitch. It's posted and uh, Twitch will automatically translate this to your local time. So I don't have to explain everyone in their local time when I'm streaming. Uh, it, it really helps. Uh, so I'm in every morning, at least for me. And for you, it might be every afternoon, night, or whatever. <laughs> Where's your object 279? <laughs> no, I, I don't provide such such benefits. But you got some cool emotes that you can use on Twitch. At least on my channel. Because apparently follower emotes don't transfer to, to other channels. <laughs> How, how goes the train shenanigans? I, I'm actually wrapping things up and people are showing up. <laughs> why, why is it always when I finish that people show up? When I start, there's someone... Like sometimes there's there's no one when I start and, and go through the stream. And, and then right when I'm about to finish, people are just showing up and, and, and say, Hello, hello. And I'm like, yeah, but, but I'm wrapping things up. It, it, feels like <laughs> that that's how it goes it's always the way it goes yes uh right anyway yes i'm wrapping up for uh i'm wrapping up for today so uh once more uh, like probably fourth time uh in in past 10 minutes uh thanks everyone uh, drop me follows and yeah check out my schedule and join my discord and and do all that fancy stuff and if you are watching this on, on YouTube then you know what to do yeah that that red button with subscribe on it is is, is there for you uh, also don't forget the bell if, if you are using those things I, I I believe you can also turn on notifications on Twitch if, if you are doing that and and yeah uh, all, all, all that fancy stuff and I'll, I'll catch you on on the next stream and on Discord bye bye <laughs>